Welcome to the Vodacall end user training video. Our hopes here are to show you just how simple using your new phone can be. We believe with some basic training and a little practice, this phone will be part of the best phone experience you've ever had, the Vodacall experience. Let's start with the basics, shall we? When your phone was rolled out to you, you should have received two documents, the Vodacall quick user guide for your phone and the Vodacall voicemail user guide. If you don't have them, they can always be found at downloads.vodacall.com. Let's focus on the quick user guide for a moment. Each guide has a picture of the phone and a breakdown of the keys, as well as a step-by-step -step guide for things like holding a call, transferring, conferencing, voicemail setup, and other day-to-day -day functions of using your phone. This covers all the basics for answering and moving a call around the office. These are also the things that if not practiced, can have an effect on your customer and client experience. The key to your new phone is the soft keys that run along the bottom of the phone screen. These are the primary buttons that allow you to access a multitude of one-touch features. They will change depending on if you're idle, new call, call return, paging, more. If you're receiving a call, answer, reject, or forward. Or if you're on a call, end call, call return, or park retrieve. So let's practice together. But first, let's get our mailbox set up. Setting up your voice mailbox. The steps for doing this are highlighted on the quick user guide on the right hand side. First, you'll press your messages button. The system will then ask you for a password as it assumes you're sitting at your own desk. Enter the default password of 123456 followed by the pound sign. Welcome to your Compilot voice portal. Please enter your passcode, then press the pound key. Before you can use your voice portal, you must change your passcode and record your personalized name. Please enter your new passcode, then press the pound key. To go back to the previous menu, press the star key. Your new password should be between four and eight digits. In this case, I'll use 2580. Please enter your new passcode again, then press the pound. Passcode has been changed successfully. Please start recording your personalized name after the tone. Press the pound key to end recording. Polycom 450 demo. Thank you. Your name has been recorded. If you are satisfied with your name recording, press the star key. To re-record your name, press 1. To listen to your name recording, press 2. To repeat this menu, press the pound key. I'll press star as I'm satisfied. For all intents and purposes at that point, my mailbox will be set up. You are now ready to use your voice portal. To access your voice mailbox, press 1. To record your name, press 3. To change your passcode, press 8. To exit the voice portal, press 9. To repeat this menu, press the pound key. If you want to record a personalized greeting, continue on to step 6 through 8 on the user guide by pressing 1. There are no new or saved messages and then 3. The mailbox. To record a new no answer greeting, press 1. To play the current greeting, press 2. To revert to the default system greeting, press 3. To go back to the previous menu, press the star key. To repeat this menu, press the pound key. And record your no answer greeting. Steps for doing this can be found in the voicemail user guide. Your mailbox is now set up and you're ready to make your first call. Let's start with an internal call. To make an internal call, either lift the handset or start dialing the extension number you are trying to call. Once it has been entered, hit the send key. You are now connected. To place an external call, simply start dialing the number to use the speakerphone or lift the handset first and begin to dial. The new system does require all 10 digits to complete a call. You do not need to dial a 9 or a 1 for a call to complete. Should you make a mistake, you can use your arrow soft key to back up and re-enter the number. When you're ready, hit dial. Answering a call. When a call rings in on your phone, you have a few options. To answer the phone, simply lift the handset or look to the screen and use one of the soft keys available to you. I can press answer. 
I've now answered that phone call. To end the call, press end. To answer a second call, first answer the first call. When a second call comes in, you'll hear a beep in your ear and you'll see the second call on the screen. Using your arrow keys, highlight the second call and press the answer soft key. This placed the first call you were on on hold automatically and connected you to the second caller. To switch back, highlight the first call, hit resume, and it now placed your second call on hold. You can now tell this person, Jim, I've been waiting for this call. I'll call you back in just a few minutes. Hit end call and hit resume. And connect yourself back to the second caller. When you're finished with the second caller, hit the end call soft key or hang up the handset. Let's talk about placing a call on hold. While on a call, you can hit your hold soft key or your fixed hold key. You'll notice the call now flashes red, whereas before it was green. To resume the call, hit the resume soft key. You are now talking to the person again. You can also hit the hard soft key to get the call back. To end the call, press end. Let's talk about transferring a call. There are three main ways to transfer a call. There's a blind transfer, which sends the caller immediately to the person you're transferring to. There's an assisted transfer, which transfers the caller but allows you to announce the call first. And there is transfer to voicemail, which sends the call directly to a caller's voicemail box. In this case, we'll start with a blind transfer. So a call comes in, you answer the call. You then press your transfer soft key, followed by blind, and dial the extension you wish to transfer the call to, followed by send. That call has now been transferred. If a call came in again, but you wish to announce the transfer, you would answer the call, hit the transfer key, and dial the person you wish to transfer to, followed by send. When that person answers the call, you tell them who it is, announce the call. Jim, I have Dan on the line for you. Jim says he's busy. So you can hit cancel and return yourself to the caller. In this particular case, we'll take a call, announce the call to Jim, and then we'll transfer the call to voicemail because Jim decides he doesn't want to take the call. We answer the first call. It's for Jim. We hit transfer, dial Jim's extension. Jim answers the phone. Hey Jim, I have Dan for you. Jim's not available at the moment. I hit cancel. Hi Dan, I'm afraid Jim's tied up at the moment. Would you like his voicemail? I hit the more soft key. Hit transfer to voicemail. I am then prompted to enter in a mailbox number. Dial Jim's extension, hit enter, and that call transfers to voicemail. Thank you. This time, we'll complete the assisted transfer. A call comes in and I answer the call. It's gonna be an assisted transfer, so I hit transfer, dial the extension number, and hit send. Hi Jim, I have Dan on the line for you. Jim tells me that's fine. I hit the transfer soft key or hang up the handset and the call completes. Last but not least, we'll talk about parking a call. Sometimes transfer doesn't work and you need a different way of finding people who are mobile, not at their desk all the time, or could be anywhere in the building. To do this, we'll use a feature called parking. While on a call, answer the call, hit your more soft key, and I'm gonna hit call park. When I press this, I'm gonna be asked where I would like to park the call to. I will park it to the person it's for. Please dial the number where you want to park your call, followed by pound, or dial pound to park the call against your number. I dial in Jim's extension of 302. Hit pound. Your call has been parked. Thank you. Now I'll find Jim. I might go to his office. I might ask somebody else. I could call him. I'll let him know you have a call parked. Jim knows it's parked at extension 302 because that's Jim's extension. He can walk to any phone in the organization, hit the more key, hit park retrieve, dial his extension, hit enter, and he is now connected to that call. This is a great way to move people around the office using paging systems, or if again, somebody is mobile or not always at their desk. End the call to end. Let's talk about making a conference call. 
you can have three other parties besides yourself on a call. They can either be internal or external numbers. Once you have the first party on the line, you are able to press the More soft key and then the Conference soft key. Let's go ahead and get started. We answer the first call. We see there's a need to have a conference call. We press More, press Conference, and it asks us who we'd like to conference with. We'll dial in extension 302. Hit Send. We connect with that person. I'm going to bring you in on a conference. If they say no and I press Cancel, it will connect me back to the first party and I say they're not available. We'll try one more time. We hit more, followed by conference, dial Jim's extension. Jim answers. Sure, I can jump on that conference call. We hit conference again, and we're now in an active conference. We can now hold that conference call, or end that conference call, or manage that conference call. Let's press the manage key. The manage key will show us the first two people that are in our conference. It also offers us the ability to add, to far mute, to hold, if I press more, to remove, press more again and come back. Let's talk about muting someone at the far end. This shows me I'm on with extension 300 and 302. The arrow keys moving in both directions show me that I have audio flowing in both directions. Using my arrow keys, I can highlight the call I would like to mute. In this case, Jim, hit far mute, and you'll notice that there's a microphone with a line through it. The arrows are now also only one way. This means that Jim can only hear the conference call now and no longer speak. This can be used if somebody is in a loud environment, potentially they just need to listen to a conference call and they're driving down the highway, any of those type of environments. I can now unmute. I can also place a party on hold who's in the conference call. Let's say I need to tell Jim something quickly and I want to put extension 300 on hold. I would use my arrow keys, highlight extension 300, and hit hold. That caller is now listening to the on hold music and I can continue to tell Jim what I need to tell him and then hit resume and bring that person back into the conference call. Should I wish to remove someone from the conference call, hit the more soft key and hit remove. I am now just talking to one individual. To end that call, press end. To forward your phone, press the menu key, press one for features, press two for forward, press one for always, and dial the extension you wish to forward to. Then click Enable. Your calls are now forwarded. Next to your extension number, you'll see an arrow key that comes in and goes out again. This lets you know that any call that comes into you will be forwarded out. Also in the scroll on your screen, it does tell me I have a new missed call here, but it also tells me forward extension 302. To turn that back off again, press the menu key, press one for features, two for forward, one for always, and click Disable. My phone now turns back into a phone instead of an arrow, and the scroll only lets me know that I have a missed call. To clear that missed call, hit the down arrow key, then hit Exit. Let's focus in on the arrow keys on your phone. These will give you access to your call logs. Your left arrow key brings you to your received calls. You can scroll through the last 99 people that you've talked to. If you find someone you wish to call back, you can highlight them and press the dial key. Your right arrow key brings you to your placed calls. Again, the last 99 that you've called. Feel free to go back through, find the caller that you're looking for. If you spoke to somebody on Friday and you're looking for their number, you can scroll down through. When you find the call you think it is, hit the check mark and it will give you the information on the call. How long you spoke to them, what the date was, etc. If you want to call the person back, press the dial key. Your down arrow key shows you your missed calls. These will be alerted by a scrolling on your screen and to clear them you just come in, look at the log, scroll through and hit exit. Your up arrow key is your speed dials. Currently I have no speed dials. If I wanted to, I could add a speed dial manually or the easiest way to do it is to go through your call logs. So I look at my placed calls and I just spoke to Vodacall extension 300 and that's somebody I want to be in my speed dials. I find their number, I hit more, I hit save, and they're now saved. Hit your menu key twice to return to your main screen at any time. 
On the screen, just below my extension number, the first two speed dials I add will show up there, so be careful who you add first. Below your arrow keys are your menu button, your messages button, your redial button, and your mute button. Your mute button will mute your handset if you're on your handset, your headset if you're on your headset, or your speakerphone if you're on your speakerphone. To turn your speakerphone on and off, hit your speakerphone button. To turn your headset on and off, use your headset button. Your volume button controls the volume of your ringer if you're not on the phone. It controls the volume of your speakerphone if you are on the phone, or the volume of your handset if you're on your handset. If you lift your phone, you'll notice there's a small opening at the bottom on the right hand side. This is the microphone. Should you have some papers pushed up against your phone, or if you're on a glass surface or something reflective, you may find that the quality is not up to par. Please try to keep this area free. Your headset plugs in on the bottom just above the headset logo. Your handset would plug in next to that. If you have a computer plugged into your phone, it would plug in where the computer icon is. The network icon is where you plug in your connection to the wall. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed your Vodacall training video. Don't forget you can visit us on the web at www.vodacall.com.